50 Cent as well as D.L. Hughley responds to what you guys seen the video of Mike Epps as he pretty much have a lot of things to say to Shannon Sharp in particular. It seemed like it's some smoke there, but outside of that, you guys know Club Shay Shay Shannon Sharp platform has dug up a lot of skeletons in the comedy world. It seemed like a lot of things that was getting swept under the rug for a very long time is no longer swept under the rug. So now you have comedians at comedians and a lot of the comedians are now starting to turn their eyes and focus on Shannon Sharp as he's given a platform to a lot of these comedians or basically the main comedians is Cat Williams and Monique and they've been doing a lot of exposing on that platform and it seemed like guys like D.L. Hughley didn't like it Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp have smoke now we're gonna unpack it all right here y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for me right now before we jump into it now wait a minute wait a minute now I know Shay Shay, I don't know what grown man got a name named Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up. When you were sitting there with Cat, and he was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't. Okay. Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me. You're gonna be an all star. I'm gonna be at the all star in my hometown, and I'm gonna see you. All right. I'm gonna see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know. I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, it's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank. Blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. Now, I want to give you guys that video right there so you guys can you know, have a preference or a reference point. In case you guys missed the video with Mike Epps, that's what he had to say in response of Shannon Sharp saying he wanted to see him, etc. You guys can see 50 Cent then responds by saying, what the F happened here? Don't shoot at him at the ball game. Let me get out the way, Mike. Now, you guys can see 50 Cent make a joke about it all, as he always tend to do. You guys can see at the same time, there's still a lot of seriousness and some people not really liking Mike Epps' response, and others do like it. You know, at the end of the day, it was some jokes that was told about Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp didn't like the way the things, you no, know, you no know, things that were said or alleged about him. He wanted to handle it like men with the hands, and of course, Mike Epps wanted to take it another way, and many people are trying to speculate Mike Mike Epps is scared in that regard. Now, you guys can see that was followed up by D.L. Hughley, which is another comedian who has some things said about him. He said, man, listen, a lot of us comedians don't play. Jokes are jokes, but it ain't a game when things get serious. You can't have it both ways. If you're going to stir the pot, you have to be ready for what's on the other side of what you're stirring up. Now, again, I'm going to reread that for you guys that didn't really understand exactly what D.L. Hughley was saying. You guys can see that D.L. Hughley is clearly standing with the comedian and standing with the guy that want to do some blank, blank, blank. Versus, you no know, throwing their hands like men. But to me, I'm going to give you guys my opinion at the end. Let's reread what D.L. Hughley said. Again, he said, man, listen, a lot of comedians don't play. Jokes are jokes, but it ain't a game when things get serious. You can't have it both ways. If you're going to stir the pot, you have to be ready for what's on the other side of what you're stirring up. Now, again, I'm not the one to tell men, you know, what they can do when they feel offended, etc. But one thing I will say in regards of a D.L. Hughley, you can say what you want, brother. But I also see on your page where you also, you know, you seem to be an advocate for not non black on black and this that and the third but anytime it's a person you don't like or you don't seem to like like shannon sharp you're so quick to be inside or no on the side of a guy that's talking about 
blank, 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 and Shannon Sharp. To me, I think that's the only contradiction in this statement. If Mike Epps want to do it however he want to do it, I'm sure it won't make it that far. Someone will get in the middle of these men, hopefully, before it gets to that point. But either way, at the end of the day, when you see these men, even at, their, no, even at the age of a Mike Epps, think that that's the way you resolve your issue. It just goes to show you what we are as a culture of people, in my opinion. I ain't going to talk too much further outside of that. You guys can see that's what 50 Cent had to say. As he said, let him get out the way, Mike, long story short. And D.L. Hugelow is more so on the other side, basically saying when you stir the pot, you can't you know, you can't decide you know, what comes out of the pot or something like that, paraphrasing, etc. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on to all. Get in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to read what you got to say. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel. Sub up. I'm going to catch you on the next one.